Okay, so support for Windows 10 has ended. This means unless you've enrolled in the extended security updates, you're no longer going to get security updates for Windows 10, meaning that your computer is going to be less secure. And yes, even if you've got an antivirus, your computer is still not gonna have full security coverage. There's gonna be that component missing that Microsoft normally plug the gap between your antivirus and the operating system where they plug holes in the system where perhaps scammers, hackers have managed to find a way to get into your system. So yes, unless you've got extended security updates, then you are going to find yourself with a system that could quite easily be compromised in the future. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, it is possible for some users to get extended security updates, which could last for up to three years, i.e. up to October 2028. Now they are issuing these extended security updates year by year. The first year, as I say, some of you can get it for free. If you wanna see if you can get it for free, then have a look at my video in the description down below which tells you all about that. But if you want to try and upgrade your system from Windows 10 to Windows 11, if it's unsupported, then this method will certainly allow you to do that. So first of all, let's just have a look. This system here, let's just check to see whether or not it is supported in Windows 11. So I'm just gonna go in to the PC Health Check app, which in there, you've got a little tool which can check to see whether or not your computer is compatible with Windows 11. And no, mine actually fails on two things. It says that I need TPM 2.0, and it also says that my processor is not currently supported for Windows 11. So no way I'm getting Windows 11 until we follow this guide. So let's just close this down. And what we need to do is we need to open up our browser. So I'm going to open up Microsoft Edge. And once it's opened, I'm going to go to the address bar at the top of the screen just there, delete out anything that's in there and type in there C for Charlie, W for Whiskey, T for Tango, E for Echo, K for Kilo, dot co, dot UK, forward slash WD. Pause this video if you need to write this down. So once you've typed that in the address bar of your browser, not the search bar, but the address bar at the top of the screen, then press enter or return on your keyboard. If you've typed the address correctly, then you should see this website. Now manage your options or click on consent. Scroll down and under download windows, you've got this here, Windows 11 ISO. Left click once on that, that will then take you to Microsoft's official website where you can download a file for Windows 11. And as you can see here, you can see what version you're going to be downloading. The current release is Windows 11 2025 update version 25H2, which as of October 2025 is the latest version of Windows 11. So scroll down and we want to go down to this section here that says download Windows 11 disk image ISO for X64 devices. On the little drop down there where it's got select download, click on the arrow pointing down and just select Windows 11 multi edition ISO for X64 devices and then click on the blue and white download now button. Then it's asking us to select the product language. Now, you've got to select the language that your Windows was installed with. Now, in most cases, you're fine, but if you've got Chinese, then you've got to choose whether it was Chinese simplified or Chinese traditional. The same with English, English United States or English International, and the same with Spanish. You've got Spanish or Spanish Mexico. Now, if, you're, if you choose the wrong one, then don't worry, it's not all gonna crash, but what it's gonna mean is when you get to the point where it asks you whether or not you wanna keep your files, then it won't allow you to keep your files. That part will be greyed out. So you'll know that you've downloaded the wrong version of Windows 11. Now, generally, 
if you're in the United States, then obviously you're going to be downloading English United States. If you're anywhere outside the United States, including the UK, you're going to download English International. Now, there are a few exceptions to, to that. I have found that many Lenovo machines were supplied with the English United States version of Windows 10. So therefore, it's probably best if you've got a Lenovo, maybe even a Dell, then to choose English United States. But if you're not sure, then try one. If you don't get the option to keep your files, then try the other version. So I'm going to select English International because I'm in the United Kingdom. OK, and then I'm going to click Confirm. And then it's going to take you to this page here where you've got 64 bit download. Click on 64 bit download and let that download. Now, this is quite a big file. So if you've got a particularly slow internet connection, then it is going to take some time to download. And also, I should say, if you're running a 32-bit version of Windows 10, then you're not going to be able to upgrade to Windows 11, I'm afraid. And if you do want to check to see what version of Windows 10 you're running, then what you can do is you can click on the Start button just down there in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, and then just type control on your keyboard and after a little while it'll come up control panel system move your mouse over that under best match left click once and then go down to system just there if you've got that there if you haven't got that there and you might have category view then the best thing to do is click on view by category just up there and select large icons and then you'll see system so click on that and then if you scroll down, you will see under system type there, it will say 32-bit or 64-bit operating system. Now, if yours says 32-bit, unfortunately, there's no way of upgrading directly to Windows 11, I'm afraid. You'll have to, you have, to have a 64-bit version. There is not a 32-bit version of Windows 11 that you can upgrade to. So anyway, as I say, let's just close this down by clicking on the cross in the top right-hand corner and click on this here. As you can see, mine is still downloading. Now that is gonna take a little bit of time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video and we're gonna come back to it once this has finished downloading. Okay, so finally the file has now downloaded, as you can see there, denoted by the open file that's appeared below it if you're using Edge. So probably the best thing to do now is to, if you've got an open file there, click on open file. But if you've not got an open file, then click on the cross in the top right hand corner to close down your browser and then go down to a yellow folder, any yellow folder, but there's one there on the taskbar. Left click once on that and click on downloads on the left hand side. Then you're looking for this file here that says win11 underscore 25 H2. Move your mouse over that, double left click on it. And then if this comes up, left click open. And then you should see this appear here. Now, double left click on sources and then find any white area just to the right of those files there. Find the shift key on your keyboard. That is usually below the caps lock key on the left hand side. Hold that down and then right click on your mouse and then let go of the shift key. And then what you need to do is you need to move your mouse over open PowerShell window here. Left click once. And then you're going to get this box come up with a bit of writing that will appear. Then you want to type just as it's shown on your screen there, full stop backslash setup prep or one word dot exe space forward slash product space server just as it's shown on the screen. Now, again, pause this video if you need to make a note of this. Now, just press enter or return on your keyboard once you've typed that in. Then if you see this here saying, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? Move your mouse over yes and left click once. Now you should see this preparing come up and then you should see install Windows Server. Now don't worry, it's not going to install Windows Server. And what I always do is I always click on change how setup downloads updates and I just click on the little circle to the left of not right. Now this is optional, but generally it 
it makes Windows install quicker. And also take the tick out of, I want to help make the installation better. That's if there is a tick in there in the first place. Then move your mouse over next, left click. Now it's just checking your PC and getting things ready and then accept the license agreement, of course, after you've read and understood all of that. And now it's got choose what to keep. Now, if keep file settings and apps and keep personal files only is grayed out and you've got no choice but to choose nothing, then you've downloaded the wrong version of Windows 11 you must download the other version that I spoke about earlier. So i.e. if you've downloaded English United States and that's grayed out, try downloading English International. If you've tried in it, downloading a Chinese simplified, then try downloading Chinese traditional. If you've downloaded Spanish, then try downloaded Spanish Mexico. And hopefully when you get to this point, then these won't be greyed out. But if they're not greyed out like they shouldn't be, then make sure there's a dot just to the left of keep file settings and apps. Now, whilst this does keep your file settings and apps, if anything does go wrong during the installation, then you could stand to lose everything. So really, you really do need to make sure that you've got a backup of any important files on an external hard drive. Make sure you've got passwords to be able to get back into things like your emails, your social media, websites that you regularly log into. Make sure that you've also got installation media or access to re-download your apps should the worst happen. Hopefully it won't, but sometimes it does. If there's a power cut halfway through or your computer crashes, then you might end up having to start again, reload Windows 10 and go back to the beginning. So do make sure that you you are prepared for the worst. So if you're happy with that, move your mouse over next, left click once, and it's now making sure that you're ready to install. And it says, please wait, this might take a few minutes. And there we go. We finally come to this page here, which just confirms what we want to do. Install Windows 11 and keep file settings and apps. So if you're happy with this, move your mouse over install, left click once, and then walk away from your computer. This is going to take a while. And as it says on the screen, the PC will restart several times. So make sure that you don't try and stop this however long it takes. Now, just let it roll. OK, and there we are. Windows 11 has now been installed, upgraded from Windows 10. And for all the doubters, let's just check. Again, I'm going to load the PC Health Check app. And as you will see when this loads, I click check now. And yes, even though we've got Windows 11 installed, it's still saying that it doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. So I've managed to bypass that check and install it anyway. And again, for the doubters, let's just go into the settings and then into system and then down to about and scroll down. And as we can see there, I've got Windows 11. Now there's one final thing you need to do, and that is to delete the file that we downloaded, that big file. So click on the yellow folder at the bottom of the screen or any other yellow folder on your desktop. Go into downloads just over there on the left. Find the file that starts win11 underscore 25 H2. Click on it and then click on the bin. And it'll probably say this file's too big, big to recycle. So left click on yes. So there you go. That guide showed you how you can upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11 25 H2, which is the latest version of Windows 11 as of October 2025 on a system that it's not supposed to upgrade onto.